Hello Chocks and Chockettes, no in between, Chuck Robert here for another video review, this time of the Evadels Dark Cherry. So what is it? Well, dark chocolate with cherry filling. There we are, yes. Or chocolate noir for a la cerise. <laughs> yeah, it looks very tasty, doesn't it? Look at that. It's got a zebra on there as well for some reason. I don't know why they've got a zebra on there. Those are all the things at the moment, I guess, zebra Kit Kat. Zebra playing balls. I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> what is going on there? <laughs> I mean, well, for some reason there's a zebra and a person playing bowling, and I don't know why that is, but it's a nice image. <laughs> I have no idea why that is. Um, and there's another bowling ball floating in midair as well, I think. I'm not sure what's going on there. <laughs> there's two cherries. But anyway, nonetheless, um, there we go. So if you like playing uh, bowling with zebras, uh, this is for you. Um, yeah, okay, so, uh, well... <laughs> Okay, so I've just seen on the back actually there's an explanation as to what's going on with the zebra. So we actually I've not seen this on the on the packaging before at all, so I don't know um yeah, Garner Coco by the way. I mean I've not seen this on the Vidal packaging before, so I don't know whether they've just brought it back after years of not having it or whether it's always been there and I never noticed it. But either way, um here's an explanation. So it's a little story there, possibly for kids, but it says um Dark Cherry, the boy and the zebra are a charming duo that have been that has been putting a smile on the face of original Vidal chocolate lovers for years. They are the Everdell brand ambassadors. Oh, there we go, and I can't read the rest. Which is why they are now uh, featured on the packaging of our products. There we are, okay. Um, they represent small everyday sweet pleasures, just like our Vedel chocolate. Okay, so it's, well, it says it's been representing them for years. Um, put a smile on the face of original Vedel chocolate lovers for years. Now they're on the packaging. Well, I don't know, well, I don't know how that's been the case. Maybe, I don't know, it's a Polish brand. So maybe in Poland it's on the adverts and things, but... Um, but now they're actually on the packet themselves, so yeah. There's a bit of nice, um, you can see the, the temping bowling pins are sort of a bit shiny there as well. There's some shine going there. What do they call it? Spot, spot UV, I think they call it. So if you look on the, on the the holes on the temping bowl, on the balls themselves, and the pins shine a bit, so not too bad. Although it keeps focusing in and out, of course. But okay, well, there we are. So, no, no nice, interesting, nice, and um, yeah. Nice story there. I don't know, as I say, I don't know. Well, I've never seen them before, and I've reviewed a couple of Vidal products in the past. Um, so maybe it's just on TV and stuff that these these characters appear, but... Okay, interesting. So we've got so the official description, dark chocolate with cherry filling. It says it there. It's got milk and yellow. And um, does it have... Um, does it have palm oil in it? Let's see. It does. Vegetable fat palm. So it does have palm oil in it. I don't know if you can see. There it is, just there. Palm. There we go. Okay. Dark chocolate, cocoa, solids, 50% minimum, it says what's it? Make contain peanuts, nuts, cereal, gluten, egg. So there we are. And there we go, got per 100 grams, 484 calories. So it's definitely lower than on the 500-600 uh, scale that you usually get for chocolates. So that's really good, actually. Normally for chocolates, always, almost always over 500. So not bad, this one. Obviously, it does have other things in it as well. Uh, 26 grams of fat, 14 of which are saturates. And then per 20 grams, um, which I think is 5, 2 times 2 cubes, I guess. Then 7 calories, 5.1 grams of fat, 2.8 of which are saturates. You'll notice that because it's a, a non-English bar, they have um, commas instead of full stops or decimal points. Or whatever. Well, commas is a decimal point rather than a actual full stop. So, interesting. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so they're quite big chunks in these. It's usually like, um, basically, rather than say four chunks per column, there's two. So it's a two by four bar, I would have said. One, two, maybe five, two by five. Hmm. Dark chocolate with cherry filling. There's definitely the, the UK version of this one, but as I say, there's still, they haven't put decimal points in the, um, well, you know, the decimal points are commas rather than the full stops. So interesting one, yeah. Okay, well, quite like the look of this one. It's a new new branding for Vivadel. They've got different new colours on there as well. It's I'm not sure if it looks better, to be honest with you, but I do quite like the way they've got these sort of mascots on there now. It's quite interesting. Um, but yeah, it's 100 gram bar as well. Hmm. Gives it in ounces as well. And most people in the UK do grams now, though, not ounces, but it's got them there anyway. All right, well, I think we should give it an open. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's give it an open. Okay, well, I'm just going to say Everdell dark cherry, uh, sort of dark chocolate with cherry filling and open. So it looks very nice, but there's some flourishes on here, so we'll give those a bit of a measure. Um, yes, it's quite a big bar, so, you know, 100 gram bar, so you're going to lose proportion, not as much, but uh, still 18 centimetres with this, so we'll see what it's like without uh, the flourishes. 
Yes, yeah, so I've done about, well, I've can't, I don't even know how many reviews I've done now. It's, I think it's like 470. It's, it's a lot anyway. I've done a good few hundred reviews. So after you uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel, I assume you do, <laughs> please do, it'd be great if you could. Now leave a comment for you as well, of course, but uh, yeah, I'll put a play, link, a play link or a playlist or whatever you'd like to say in the uh, the top right-hand corner of this screen as you look at it. So um, yeah, after you've uh, enjoyed this video, click on the playlist and you'll see all the rest of all the reviews I've done. So, great you could do that. Hmm. Okay, so we had... Um, about 18 centimetres, wasn't it, I think, and now it's basically fif 15 and a half centimetres, yeah. So that's about two and a half centimetres there. So quite a lot. Hmm. Okay. Smells nice, though. Lovely smell coming from it. Hmm. Nice, very cherry-like smell. You can see there, two by five bar. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Let's try and give it a bit of a, bit of a measure then. So, ooh, let's... Uh, Okay. Right, so there we go. So it's about seven point five centimeters wide. The height, I think we did say it, but let's see if we can get it with this just to be a bit more accurate. Can we do it? So look. Is it long enough? It might just be long enough, <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, just just about maybe. Yeah, well, it's, it, it's, it's pretty much about 15 and a half centimetres that, so that's kind of what I said. Um, yeah, must be quite accurate. Yeah, about 15 and a half, so I think we're right there. And height, of course, we could do the height. It's quite a difficult one to uh, measure. We'll do the sort of like first point to the highest point at first. Let's see. Yeah, it's about. Uh, Point nine centimeters. We'll do it in between as well. Just dip down a bit here. A point. No, that's not right. It's about point seven point four centimeters there. But it does lip up again. You know, so you can see at the side there are lips there. So it does actually dip down further. Okay, <clears throat> let's uh, give it a snap then. So you know, now we can actually measure it. Now we've uh, opened it there. So, can we, if we can, there we go, it's about 0.5 centimetres, so yeah, a couple millimetres less. All right, well that's very uh, interesting, hmm, so we can take the top off of it, can we do that? Yeah, so you can see there's like a sort of sphere of um, cherry top there, looks very nice, doesn't it? So I'll take the rest off, yes, yeah, so there you go, so hmm, yeah. Nice cream there. It's called dark cherry. Okay, well obviously clearly it does have sort of like a cream in there as well. Yeah, it looks very nice. That doesn't it very tasty. Mmm. Let's just see how deep it goes. Cut down. Okay, and again, yeah, you can see there. Lovely um yeah, depth to it there. Yeah, I think that's very tasty looking, doesn't it? Yeah. It's very nice indeed. Mmm. Well, I think we need to taste this, so let's do it. Let's give it a taste. <laughs> okay, let's give this uh, Eva Dell's dark cherry, sort of dark chocolate with a uh, cherry filling bar a taste. Okay, it does have some kind of cream in there as well. And uh, what does it actually say? It does say dark chocolate with cherry filling, but it's clearly, um, yeah, it says 1.3% cherry puree. Um, dark chocolate, 50%. Um, it doesn't kind of easily say what the rest of it is, so there's obviously more in it there, but yeah. Mm, okay, fifty percent minimum cocoa solids. All right, we'll give um give a nice uh, a nice sort of square a taste. So let's do it. Let's give it a go. Hmm. 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 Well, mm. It's very much um. It's very 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 strong cherry flavour. Hmm. Cream works well with it as well actually. Hmm. Just temper it a bit. Hmm. About this bit alcoholy really, but I don't I don't think it is. But it tastes a bit that way. Hmm. A nice dark chocolate as well. It's quite hard to taste it because the cherry is quite strong, but uh, mm, yeah, mm, it's very nice. I've got a bit of a dark chocolate section that I took off. It's quite thin, as you can see. The chocolate's actually quite thin, mm, but um, not a bad dark chocolate, not a bad one. It's quite, um, I'll say, not overly rich, um, but it's you know, it is a dark chocolate. 
but it's quite thin, not too strong. And um, just complements it, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. A nice set of textures and um, a nice set of flavours really, rather than textures. I mean, textures are obviously nice, but there's not many of them. There's only really, you know, mm, and the dark chocolate and the filling. I think the cream and the cherry are quite similar textures, but um, yeah, the flavours are very nice. I think it works very well together. Hmm. I do quite like this. I think um, I mean, I'd say it's quite big squares you get in it, but hmm. Uh, you can see there. A nice amount of cherry in the middle. Hmm. It definitely works very well. It's very nice. Yeah. I mean, this is good. I don't think it's, um, hmm. I don't know. I would say the dark chocolate's perhaps, you know, could be a bit thicker, maybe. Um, but the cream's not bad at all, because you can't really, it doesn't, it's not sickly. It just um, accompanies it quite well. Just gives it a bit of a, hmm. I mean, I guess, a, I guess just sort of holds back the chair from being a bit too much. Um, hmm. I'm saying, not really sickly or anything, it's just, I don't really know what it is really. Because it doesn't have any description of it on the, on the wrapper. No, cherry puree, cherry concentrate, mm. in a dried way. <clears throat> mm. It does have a bit of alcohol in it, 0.3%. Mm. Okay, yeah, all right. So it does have a very small amount of alcohol. I thought yeah, it tasted a bit that way. Um, you know, yeah. It does taste a bit that way. It's not too bad though. I'm not a big fan of alcohol really in chocolate, but um, hmm. you can see here. Let's try and get the cherry blob out, kind of measures or whatnot. So there you go. You can see it here. Literally just the, the cherry blob there. I've got it there. <laughs> let's see if we can measure it. Might have to use the ruler. It's quite jelly-like. Bit of a rough measurement, this. Mm. Yeah, it's about two centimeters in diameter, really. You can't probably can't really see. Let me prove it to you, but it is pretty much two centimeters spot on. Yeah, it's quite jelly like as well. Um, I think I took off the edge there. If I try and grab it, it's solid, you know what I mean? It's not runny. Hmm, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad. You can taste a bit of alcohol in there. It does I say it does taste? I could taste it, and as you saw, it I didn't think there was any, but it does taste that way. Um, never seen it on the description. Hmm. I think the cream, I say, does work. And cherry's quite strong, quite cherry-like. Does have a sort of, I say, a bit of a liqueur taste to it. Hmm. And the dark chocolate's perhaps there. Uh, one part's not very strong. You know, you can't really taste it. Very well. I mean, the, the the cream part's not very strong either, really, but. You think you'd be able to? You think you'd be able to taste the dark chocolate a bit more than you can? You can't really. Hmm. But no, it's very nice. It's a lovely, uh, a lovely chocolate. You know, especially if you like cherries. I mean, I say the alcohol part is not very strong, but you, you can t tell it's there. Um, but it's not too strong. It's as I say, very. It's very cherry-like. You know, it's like a little, it's a very weak cherry liqueur. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Not too bad this one, you know. I think. I just think maybe this dark chocolate could be a bit stronger, um, is the gist of it. But I think overall it's really nice, it's very tasty, lovely texture on the cherry. Um, so it's not like a like eating a proper cherry, it's like a, a ch cherry jam almost, cherry jelly. Yeah, cherry jelly really, rather than jam. Um, mm, yeah, and the cream's nice as well. Not too, it doesn't, it's not sickly, it just sort of works well and balances out um, the chocolate. But I'll say I just wish the dark chocolate was perhaps a bit stronger. Um, Yes, I think a four and a half out of five. I think I really like that. I just, just wish it just, I'd say the dark chocolate was just a bit stronger, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more of a feature of the bar. Um, because it's dark cherry. I guess you could say the cherry is quite a dark cherry. <laughs> Although it is on the front, you know. It's not a purple one or whatever, black cherry, it is a red one. But, um, yeah, yeah, I think the dark chocolate just isn't quite prominent enough for me. Um, and that's the only reason why I'm sort of, not giving it a five out of five. I think it just needs to be a bit stronger, really. It's just, <clears throat> it's just not quite. It's there, but it's not strong enough. Um, but it's still a really lovely chocolate bar. I really do like it. Um, yeah, four and a half out of five. Great stuff. <laughs> and lovely. Um, always unique as well. The Vedel bars. I think they're really nice to have. Really uh, nice. And they're quite. I like the sort of size of the chunks as well. I just like everything about them. Really. They're very unique as well, and they're, as I say, very distinct. Um, mm. 
lovely chunk size, lovely flavours, lovely ingredients, um, presented in a way that's different as well. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I think really nice. Lovely, as I say, just wish the dark chocolate was a bit stronger in this case, but um, yeah, four and a half out of five. <laughs> okay, so we enjoyed that review. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, check out the YouTube member program if you can. It'd be great if you could support me that way. But either way, leave a comment or free. That's always lovely as well. Great to hear from you. I enjoy replying to you as well. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks again, guys. Take care. Bye for now. See ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>